Hello fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are continuing our experiment with a blind replays and um, I have the second replay right there. Once again, you know how we are rolling right there. I don't know what kind of tank we are going to see. I don't know what is going to be the score and so on, so on. The last battle was quite impressive the score was extremely good unfortunately the heartbreaking ending was uh, was kind of sad but hey and look at this what do we have right there what kind of tank okay tvp tvp one of my favorite tanks in the game fellas um one of the loves which i fall in love quite some time ago let's see what the team uno momento Aha, uh -huh. what the team go in is going to do. I can't see his name fully. So Tim, what's up man? If you are watching this, good luck. So what kind of situation we have right there? The first things first, he have the um, second mark of excellence. Second thing is he have the gold medal um, over there. That basically means he finished in the uh, ranked, in the ranked battles, he got the gold league, if I'm not mistaken. So that indicates he should be and he is very, very good player. So let's raise expectations a bit. And what TVP is doing? TVP is probably going, uh, well, not probably, he's going over there and probably he's going to wait for a first shots over there because you can punish people which is playing around this area, right? A very interesting strategy because I would go into the middle, but it's not about uh, me. It is about the team and about his score. So what is happening? He managed to punish uh, the Škoda once, even though that was a blind shot, I mean, uh, more likely this is a diary hit, and I can imagine in the team head, uh, uh, currently what is happening in the team head, he is thinking about blind shotting someone um, which was over there, at least he was looking into those bushes right there. Anyways, three into the Škoda, and now the team is relocating, and uh, he's thinking how to craft a better angle right there, I assume beautiful and uh, this is very risky pressure by the way because you can meet the tanks like the um, enemy tvp and you are going to sit in some kind of shithole plus on top of that currently in if the team is going back he might take one for the team from the people which is playing over there pay attention at this matchmaking is extremely good the tier 8 matchmaking no artist right so what happened right there the 430 made a bit of pressure right there and he pretty much uh, uh, took quite some for the team. And Tim is playing uh, this very, very smart. He is uh, sharing the hit points with a 430U. Um, and pretty much he took two and 430U took two from the TVP. And the enemy TVP is currently on the reload. Meanwhile, if you would pay attention at the max map, there is a Centurion which is thinking about flanking. So uh, I assume the team definitely noticed that. And he is thinking how to eliminate that guy first. Because currently TVP and Patton, they drop it down. So this road is kind of clear but in the same time um, you might get spotted when you are going like this anyways um, the team managed to find the scorpion G and he simply punished the scorpion G for his stupidity he made a mistake he got spotted in the middle of the nowhere so um, he simply was out of position and TVP is perfect time to punish people for mistakes like this if someone is making a mistake believe me TVP is pretty much the best tank in the game to punish people for the mistakes anyways Tim um, hmm, interesting Tim uh, was using auto aim for a very first shot to figure out where is the middle of the of the tank and after that he simply bursted that star one just like this beautiful so far this battle is already good let's get real 3.7 thousand damage actually in fact it is a 4 thousand damage because uh, there should be one blind shot over there and uh, so far this battle is looking very promising and the score is quite equal right there right 
So, the team loaded hits right here. How do... Um, I was not paying attention he is loading hits, but he loaded that because of the E75 over there and it's completely understandable. This guy, he knows when to fire uh, fire the um, right uh, the right ammunition, if I can say so. And there is nothing shameful to go ham on the E75 with a, with a hits instead of shooting APCRs. Believe me, it is completely normal right there, right? Anyway, Jack Pizda is getting spotted him, he have the hits loaded and RNG is not in this guy's side, he hit maybe 2 out of uh, 4 in the best case scenario. And currently he is just chilling and closing the distance between the E75, because more likely E75 or Jack Pizda is going to be the next tanks um, which he is going to clip out. By the way, Jack Pizda got one blind shot, so Tim have 2 blind shots if I am not mistaken, which is not registered in the score. Score, right? So now he took this bush over there and he's thinking how to burst Jack Pizda, but oh boy, oh boy, German rule number one, never peek against Jack Pizda. And probably this guy is aware of that, so he's kind of turning around and more likely he's thinking how to burst the Jack Pizda right now. Um, at least that's what I think. No, actually he's crafting a better angle to the E75, two very... Uh, Okay, one of those two shots was not the best one for the E75, uh, another of the shots was just a pure, um, he was kind of unlucky. Anyways, what do we have right here? The score is 7 to 10, our hero of the day is on 5.6 thousand damage, I assume if I'm not mistaken, and he simply, <laughs> he... Tim, I think Tim uh, shitted himself just a tiny bit when he saw Jack Pizda looking at him. Since the distance is huge and, uh, you know, to hit the lower plate of Jack Pizda from the 460 meters, it's not that easy. He missed both of the shots. Pay attention to the ammunition. I have a feeling in this kind of battle it's going to be crucial because 12 hits, 9 mm, standard uh, shells, it's not that much of the ammunition left and he have a potential of doing 11,000 damage right there. This is the tops as he can get if everything will go in line for him, right? Anyways, what the team is thinking and what the team is doing, he noticed that enemies are pretty much pushing through the open field so he can punish the enemies. E75 kind of shitted his pants and he is not going to push uh, straight forward on the TVP. Let's get real because it's super risky and... Um, Tim can't go like this because there is a T-55A which is sitting over there in the middle so that would be bad and look at this the, the um, Japanese candy Japanese cookie beautiful full clip right there 1.3 thousand damage just like this and this is beautiful so far what the team did everything is looking quite good a couple of the shots was bad aim couple of the shots was bad RNG but so far so good um, and uh, fellas as you can see um, when we are having those battles uh, when the score is extremely good from one or another player right what is here <laughs> No name should change his uh, name into the no turret. <laughs> Anyways, um, the T-55A got ammo racket right there, that was a very 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 beautiful RNG towards our hero of the day team. Good. So, 7.7 thousand 7, visible, in reality I think it is 8.3 thousand right there, because those two line shots was the direct hits. So what our guy is thinking right now, he is thinking not about going for, to claim the heavy tank uh, lives, but he is thinking about the E75 and Jack Pizda which can uh, start flanking, and this is actually very smart thinking, not to give enemies like all, pos all the best positions right there, but try to prevent them doing some thing sneaky if I can say so. This is very very good play by the team over there, right? But once again I can guess this guy have quite some experience and probably he is playing for uh, the third mark of excellence or maybe he have some kind of mission to do. I have no bloody clue. Either way, go Tim, what can I say? And as you can see, Tim actually managed to spot the, uh, the E75 which is, uh, which is going to um, repush 
this side. You know what I would do? I would actually have those two uh, golden shells because if he is not going to derp those two golden shells right there, he's loading two in the magazine, it is completely fine right there. And you know what? This is not fine because he have, since he have uh, two in the magazine, he cannot, he literally cannot kill both of those guys in the same time. But Star one doesn't know that Tim had only two in the magazine, right? Um, and I believe you noticed that that big bada boom, that, uh, that sound like so what that basically means, Jack Pizda is still sitting around this area, right? Um, at least that's what I think, right? So, you know what, I would not act surprised if Tim would get killed by the Jack Pizda from somewhere over there. But once again, this is only speculation, this is only prediction, this is only the guess after all, right? Anyways, this is this is very brave uh, play by the Tim side. Why am I saying that? You lucky, lucky. A lucky son of the banana, you are, ooh, and he left a uh, last in the magazine for the star one. Okay, um, first of all, Tim needs to go and buy lottery tickets. Second of all, that was smart play in the end, not to, um, simply not to uh, shoot Jack Pizda uh, for the last time and simply flank him like this. That was a very beautiful play, okay? This this one is extremely good. So far shot into the Jack Pizda, second shot, third shot, let him burn to death. Oh, Jack Pizda had the automatic fire extinguisher. The last in the magazine left, fellas. Um, the last shot left in general from the... Um, in the tank, right? Uh, so last shot, can he get the si sixth uh, kill right there? You never know, soon we will figure this out. Um, and obviously I would go in front to try to hit someone of those guys and maybe claim the sixth kill because this battle is um, amazing. Also, fellas, once again, I must add... <laughs> Tim, learn to aim, okay? Learn to aim. Yeah. If you are watching this, you know why you did not manage to kill this IS-3? Because of the Jack Pizda. Jack Pizda did not, uh, did not kill you when you was down to one shotable. So don't you dare to blame the bad RNG in this battle, okay? Anyways, what happened right there? TVP had a perfect shot into the IS-3, but it's Ruski tank. So uh, Russian RNG showed the magical trick. There was two hands and shoosh. In the end of the day, you know, he did not manage it to uh, pick the six skill. It doesn't matter, fellas. Anyways, if I need to guess, I think it is 11,000... Uh, 11,000... 300 da damage, 11,000.4. You will see everything in the in the scoreboard and obviously the best thing what Tim can do, he can go and cap the base because he literally have nothing to do right now and he is celebrating, he is uh, dancing some kind of uh, pool dance or some kind of strip dance um, because he had an amazing battle which was combination of luck um, of obviously skill because he did majority of the things very very well right there and uh, that was just awesome fellas. Um, the thing is the perfect recipe for the um, huge games like this is when teams is semi-equal but when you are pretty much carrying everything on your uh, shoulders if I can say so and believe me if not the team um, this battle uh, would be completely lost. Anyways, good job, Tim. Uh, once again, do not dare to complain about the last missed shot. You had Amorag before and Jack Pizda did not manage it to um, finish you off. Either way, it was amazing battle. I was enjoying uh, watching this. And fellas, I must admit myself, I am having quite a good uh, um, time watching uh, the other people replays doing that completely blindly I had no clue what kind of tank we are going to see I had no clue what score we are going to see and I hope you are enjoying this too if so let me know in the comment section down below as usual and thank you so much for watching um, so yeah fellas thank you see you next time skill is out for today have a good day peace